So these um, uh, barrel pipe nipple things haven't arrived yet, so I can't do those. Uh, I can put the the through holes in for the um, for the main ballast tank vents, so I might do that. I've also getting a price coming in for the hatch, sorry for the the tower and the two rings and another blank because I am going to put those um, those two extra viewports in. And so uh, I've got one blank left, which was going to be the one that I was going to put right in the bow, but I'm not going to you put that one. I'm not going to use that one. So that one can go in the side there, and I've got another one which will be coming. What I also have to do, though, is I do need to, uh, I need to set up for um, drilling and tapping the holes in these, so I might, I might do that actually. And I need to make some more of these uh, barrel penetrators. Um, I've ordered some material for it, but it's not here either, so I can't get on with those. I've got to make, uh, I've got one, so I need two, three, four, I need at least another eight, so. I better get on with it. Right, I've taken off my uh, Kurt alike. And what I'm going to do, the plan is I'm going to centre up the rotary table. Um, then I'm going to on and then I'm going to dial this in so what I do for this um, is I put the table on these are loose so I'm going to use this um, MT2 to MT3 adapter that I made well I bought it was half made out of machine one end I'm going to put the draw bar in so I can get it out. I'm going to wind this up. And with this loose, plonk that into there. Tighten these up. so I can get it out. I'm not sure if that's correct, but that's the way I do it. So I'm just doing the final uh, clocking in. So I'm just going to zero that off there. Let's come round one thousandth there, three thousand there. Go to the middle. Oops, a bit too much. There. <laughs> Spanner. There it comes. One slight problem with this method now is I haven't got a lot of room here. I've got some cold chucks which should fit, hopefully. Oh, these are M10. I've got some stumpy drills. So not those. Is 8.5. Let's see what we've got here. 
Right, edge finder won't fit in here. So what I've done is I've just measured. So this is 19, 19.1 actually. Um, so that means 9.5. And what I've done is I've set this to 9.5 and very carefully marked the center there. And then I've just lined it up with that. It wants to be lock this off and after all of that I can actually drill it so I'm going to just a little bit I'm going to center this off now I need a different speed I think for this slightly scary uh, 3000 rpm Is only a spotting drill. And now, sixty degrees. Theoretically, the next one, three sixty, should be where we started. which it is exactly oh, everything's awkward right now it's stuck in right um, I'm, I really could do one of those DROs on here or in fact build a machine but anyway I'm going to all that with it just inside that lip as my start point that is eight mil so there's my eight millimeter plus 25 is 33 so I'm gonna set my stop Right, finally I can actually drill, drill it. As if I made a bit of a rigmarole out of that, really. Um, this thing is done, but I'm trying to think of a way of uh, making this easily repeatable. So far, I haven't thought of anything. Um, well, what happens if I draw on it like this? Gives me at least something to start my alignment with. God, it's miles out. <laughs> To have gone a tiny bit out there, might be with me tightening it up. It's within a thousandth, anyway. In fact, that's spot on now. I don't think I'm even going to bother with the uh, spotting drill, to be honest. Let's just get this done.
For number three, I haven't moved anything. So once I've got it dialed in, I should just be able to go straight around now to do any more measuring at all. I have a different angle for this one. Oh, look at that for an artistic shot. So I'm getting through them quite easily now. Uh, I, can, I can just get this off without actually moving anything at all. So the only thing I've got to do is uh, re-clock in this which I've just done, and um, we're all good to go for the next, for the next one. I can do today, uh, well, because I've, I've, I've done them all actually, I've done the five that I've made anyway. Uh, what I need to do is I really must modify this. What I'm going to do, I thought about it, is just I'm just going to put this on the other way around. That'd be a double whammy, meaning that it, when you've got it flopped open, you'll have to put it back into position to use it, and I'll just have to cut the slot for this to, to pop through or hole. Um, but it'll certainly be better than that because that's really iffy like that. I don't usually use the drawbar because I normally use the um, uh, the collets wherever they are. That one. What I did just want to do one thing, which was to just double check. So this is the second to last hole. I just want to double check that the drill hasn't moved, and I am actually getting there we go, twenty-five point one five, and that's right in the middle with the, the dim pool, 25.8. So I just wanted to double check that the drill hadn't moved, which it hasn't. I hadn't really intended to do all of these today, to be honest with you. Um, I was gonna do, I was gonna start machining the other one, but once I got the rotary table um, rigged up and everything, it was sort of fairly straightforward to just carry on with them. So I've uh, got them all done. Um, uh, so, I can literally just leave the set up and then I can uh, go straight on with the next two once I've made them. So I've got to get on with those. Um, let's wiggle this one out. I'll pull it out like that now. I don't even have to uh, adjust the height or anything. It's all set for, net for the next one. They all are done, drilled, all five, managed to get all five done, so it's quite good progress really. I've got to tap them out now and make two more, of course. <laughs> 